Unanimous consent to briefly address the House. Gentlemen, the 19th, ask unanimous consent to briefly address the House. Is there objection? Chair, here's none. Gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I want to, you to understand that these comments are directed toward Trevor Nash of The Daily Show. I don't know about you, but I come from the good Virginia. I've talked for a long time about delivering uh, uh, a little poem I wrote. I'm not very good at it. But it speaks to the anguish we all feel about the way this country feels about us, or seems to, especially Mr. Nash. We provided his power. We put his lights on, and we heated his home. Additionally, this state has provided more casualties to this nation's wars per capita than any in this country. So I wrote this eight years ago. I always meant to deliver it on the floor during my last year. But the moment is now. And bear with me. <clears throat> on that bright, shiny day as you race on your way, climbing fast in the great blue alive, know that we here below see you fly over, slow, from a land where the sky is not so wide. But the scars on our hills should remind you that down here is where the spark starts. It gave you light and warmth in the night from our mountains down into your dark. From way up there in that still clean air, so far from this place you can't see, lie the stones and roads when wars you chose, freedom's heart buried generations deep. So the stones and the scars mark our passage from no man's land to this land you'd leave unknown. Be glad we were here for all you hold dear. Then fly over. We'll be here when you're gone. Go on, fly over. We'll be here when you're gone. <laughs>